what he's gone through, how he's gone through it, where he's at now, and what he's doing with himself and for other people. It's just so inspirational and amazing. Jerry was the one that told me, you're gonna keep going, and I'm gonna be there for you. And he was, and he still is, and I, I love him so much for it. Try to keep him on your outside, Evan. Jerry's what we would call a grinder. Every successful team needs a Jerry Duvall. My football coach used to have this saying, it's far from the heart, right? Like anyone would get a little injury on him, he'd tell you, it's far from the heart, you can survive this, you got this, it's far from the heart. I wanted to play sports in college, but 9-11 had happened, and I remember waking up and seeing that, and I was like, if you wanna do something, you join the military, and you fight for our country, and that's what I ultimately wanted to do after that day. So when I got back home, I just feel like I was living this crazy life, so I was like, I better work until I start college up. I hadn't even been out of the Army six months, and that's when I found this coal mine hiring. October 15, 2011, the day of my life was forever changed. That morning, I knew I was partnered with this one individual. I see my coworker coming down with this mine scoop, it's called, it's a 14-foot bucket. And then all of a sudden, like I woke up, can't really see none of the light from the machine. I realize I'm laying in the bucket. My first initial thoughts like, man, my legs are broke. I better see how bad they are, so. Grab my headlamp, you know, reach up up top, set it here on my chest, and I bend the right leg. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm in some serious trouble, you know? At that particular moment, I knew that I wasn't gonna have legs. The first parts were hard for both of us. Just him having to be on as many pills as they were prescribing him, that was affecting him a lot. Things were just spiraling out of control. My life was just this wicked mess. I think we were dropping my daughter off at the airport. We were on our way back. And I happened to see a big bus. One side of it was the avalanche sled hockey. And I said, whoa, Jerry, look at that. What is that? So I got out of the car. I was like, hey, I'm interested in sled hockey. He's like, oh, come down to Ice Ranch in Littleton on Saturday, 6.55, be there. So I get there, these guys are pretty fast, you know? And then all of a sudden this dude just comes up to me and just, he lit me up and I was like, oh, I could hit people like this and not get in trouble? Like, oh, this is my new sport. One hard, one hard. Jerry brings that fire and passion every time he gets on the ice. The camaraderie he found was comparable to something he had felt in the army. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's up, Eric? What's going on? We'll still put the bid in for the national tournament for next year. For 2025? Yeah. He said there's only one team right now that is looking to host the national championships. Yeah, he's got the 10th, or something like that, the 10th to the 12th. I've probably stopped short of Jerry saved uh, sled hockey in Colorado, but pretty darn close. He's the hardest working guy on our team, whether it's on the ice or doing the stuff off the ice as far as volunteering for our team, doing charity efforts for our team. Jerry sees when people need help, and he's the first to raise his hand. The hardest part about separating from the military is because you don't feel seen and you don't feel like you're part of anything anymore. And I felt empty inside. And when Jerry looked at me and he, he said, hey man, like you're gonna play with us. You're gonna be a part of this team. It, it meant the world to me. So when I uh, first started doing sled clinics, I was doing them all for Semper Fi and Wounded Warrior Project. And during this time, I met some veterans that you know, didn't think they were disabled enough or should even be playing sled hockey. And that's when I told them, it's like, look, sled hockey needs you more than you need sled hockey. And I knew it was also saving lives as well because it was giving these veterans a purpose in life again. Jerry, when he's on the ice and coaches us, he makes sure that we get the best of his coaching. He understands people's limits and then he pushes them a little, and then that limit is now higher. Small areas hockey's won, not in the large game. Let's go, tight, tight areas. Spreading the word and the awareness of certain situations, that's what Willie O'Ree did. He broke the grounds, was in uncomfortable situations, in positions that most people would have given up on. Being nominated for the Willie O'Ree Community Hero Award, presented by Discover, means the world.